What's going on guys? So I'm at the bins. I've only been here for 45 minutes. I already came out to my car and I had to pay because my bag and my lap were full already. Check out what I got within the first hour. These are all solid brands that you should definitely look for. Birkenstock, everybody knows them. These are like mint condition. Very good. Now, well, I won't say mint, but very good condition men's Birkenstocks. A pair of men's Doc Martin chuckle boots in very good condition. It's like a distressed looking leather. A little Doc Martin Wonder Bomb on those, and um, that'll look awesome. Got a reprint tie dye Grateful Dead t shirt. This is a really good find. This is just a watch box. It's from Cartier. And I saw that just sitting there, everybody ignored it. And I know watch boxes from top brands can sell for really good money because I have sold a Rolex box for almost $100, just a box empty. And then I got a vintage Nike duffel bag. So a really good start. All this came to seven pounds, which was about $15. So back in for more. So this is the last aisle of clothes they had brought out. Everybody cleared out and is now on the other side waiting for the new Hargrid aisle to come out. Some cows are looking through and look at this. How do people leave this behind? Let's look at them. Hopefully they're in good condition. They're a little distressed. That's okay. All right, looking good. Nice little fade on them. A little distressed on the pocket area. The button is there, the zipper works. These are like 50 to $80 jeans. Same bin as those jeans. I found this vintage Benetton, which is like an old school preppy. I don't even know if it's made anymore. I have sold a sweatshirt of that for really good money. And this is a pillowcase, spell out Benetton. So I'm looking to see if um, you know, the fitted or the flat sheet are in any of these bins as well that just came out. All right, second bin I'm looking in, I see a new bright lithium battery charger. Only like a $10 item, but very lightweight. So I'll grab it and it'll help pay for the haul. Everybody knows Ugg boots. Um, found a Ugg pillowcase the other day. Didn't know Ugg made towels as well. It's just a little hand towel, obviously I'm not going to take it, but didn't know they made towels. I'm working opposite of everybody today. Bringing out new Hargrid aisle again. Over here looking to close. There's a Polo Ralph Lauren jeans. Um, they usually sell pretty decent for me. Usually like 20, 25 bucks. Like they've been hemmed from the original length. And the thing with Polo Ralph Lauren's, they usually have the patch inside, but if you want to know what style it is, Look at the stamp on the inside pocket. These are the Hampton Straight. Have over 100% sell through rate, but I don't like the way the ankles were re hemmed, so I'm gonna pass on them. I thought this was actually a real gun because I grabbed it and it's heavy, it's all metal. People have found real guns here before. Pulse 7R7. Pulse R76. It's like an aircross BB gun or something. But I think comps are really good. I'm gonna have to grab it. Alright, so I'm taking this one and there's another one in the same bin. More of like a shotgun style. Looking like an AR almost. Um these are BB guns. But I find no information on this one. It says the brand is voodoo, but I see nothing. So this one I'll leave behind. Alright, and I found them BB gun slash airsoft mask and um looks like it's about 20 to 35 dollars so this is a grab nice lightweight just found an eddie bauer vintage parka wool lined i'll show you to when i get outside all right second time about to leave i'm at 13 pounds which will be about 26 dollars so here are the birkenstocks these are some of the best Conditioned Birkenstocks I've ever come across. Usually they're pretty worn on the inside and people will still buy them, but these are really good. Yes, they have the foot indentation. That's kind of a normal thing, but the leather is good. The bottoms are near perfect. So a very good find. Size 13, and I think this style is called the Arizona. 
So these Doc Martin boots are in also very good condition. Has like a pebbled leather. It's a distressed leather look. They're not necessarily all beat up. The bottoms are in very good condition. Full tread, minimal wear. Um, I will put a little Doc Martens Wonder Bomb on these, give them a little clean up, but the distressed look goes good on chucka boots. So this vintage Nike duffel bag in green and black has the shoulder strap. Um, good condition, this needs a wipe down, but any of these nylon bags, they're very easy to clean. I use a mixture of water and hand sanitizer actually because it's alcohol and I have it in a spray bottle mixed up and that cleans anything pretty good. And the reason I know it's vintage is because of the label. That red swoosh with the black like that on the white tag is a vintage. I believe that's from the 90s. So this thing is no joke. It is definitely not a toy. When I first went to grab it and I felt the weight, I was like, oh my God, is this a real? Because like I mentioned earlier, um, there have been real guns found at the bins since I've started going there. Twice it's happened. And this thing is all metal. This is not a plastic toy. It's actually airsoft. Got the orange cap, which you might think it's a toy, but it shoots BBs, high powered. So this is not a joke. This thing weighs almost five pounds. Like I said, it's all metal. A little polymer on the rail up top, but serious gun. Goes for about 40 bucks. So the other day at the bins, I got an Oakley suitcase. It was dirty. I ended up cleaning it up. It came out really nice. The bag has comps, as you'll see here, $150. But there was one problem. So I thought about it, and I took it anyway, and I'm going to fix it. And let me show you what the problem is. So the feet are broken. This one is okay, just a little end. is snapped off, but it's still functional and secure. This one only had the studs. The whole middle piece was missing. So some of them are screws where they're real simple to remove. These happen to be rivets. So I had to go from the inside and drill them out like you would do an old lock to get them to pop out. So I did one, I'm gonna do the other. I already went online and ordered two more. It cost $8 and the ones I bought are screwing ones. So then I could just take my drill, put a little pilot hole again. I use a different hole right next to it. And I'm gonna remount new feet because probably could have sold the bag. It's a tactical bag, $150 like I said. But I'll probably lose quite a bit of value because when the bag stands up, it sits a little lopsided because of that one foot. Now, you don't stand around with your bag too often, so someone might not care. But why give that excuse of losing value or someone doesn't pay attention to the listing and then I get a return? So I'll replace those. It cost me $8 and a little effort. And then there's no complaints and I can get full value and not have to worry about someone wanting a discount or complaining or filing a return because they didn't realize it was broken. And so luckily the inside liner zips open so you can access everything. And this one, like I said, I already removed and the rivets. So what I do is take my drill and go right into the center of the rivet and drill it until it pops and snaps and then I can remove it. Got them both off. All right, so the rivets are popped from the inside. This should pry off. One, two, and that's it. If they were screws, it would have been a simple, simple job, but they were rivets, so I had to drill them out. Now, to take a few days for the new legs to come in, I'll remount them, list it, and I should get around $150 for a bag I paid $8 for. And then $8 for the legs, so I'm all in $16 and about 10 minutes of work. All right, a little time warp. I got the feet finally. It took about a week and a half to get off of Amazon, but it wasn't a prime seller, so I had to wait for them to come in. And um, I got one taped on. I'm gonna tape them onto the bag in this spot, drill my pilot holes, and I put screws in, and it should be good to go. So I just took a little piece of shipping tape, held them in place so I could drill the pilot holes. All 
price size you can see on the screen, I took an offer of 117, three days after listing the bag. To me, it's a big item. Yeah, maybe I could have got to 150, but I'll take that profit and move it right out. So I turned the broken bag into some really good profit. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.